Hello everyone, and once again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, definitely appreciate you guys' support, and uh, thanks for uh, checking out the videos. Um, uh, definitely appreciate it. I read a message today, it was a gentleman starting the uh, upfront controller for the A10. So that's, uh, that's cool and uh, glad to hear it. Um, so this particular video, I guess we're just uh, concluding the um, standby gyro. And uh, uh, basically we got a stepper motor mounted inside for the um, pitch channel and uh, printed out a like a 3D disc to mount to the motor and also I picked up these screws here so we could turn the uh, the uh, pitch axis and uh, have a uh, proximity switch mounted inside as well. I got a stepper motor mounted up here and its proximity switch and uh, printed out a little tab. You might could see it on that gold gear, but um, I just printed out a little tab and super glued it to that gear so that um, as it spins around, the uh, proximity switch can detect the home position for that motor. Um, another thing that I did was the wires for the um, NEMA 08 stepper motor was pretty uh, big. Plus I had to uh, use um, some more wires coming out for the proximity switch. So I snipped those wires and soldered on some smaller wires. You can probably see the splice there. That allowed us to um, exit out the rear. Um, kind of hard to see here. Exit out the rear with uh, smaller wires to fit through that hole there. Um, so once we um, done that, this is kind of pretty much our setup here. Um, it'll probably take anywhere from maybe a half a week to maybe a, a week, thereabouts. Um, so we were using the Adrena Mega, but you can use um, the Uno, Nano, Micro, you know, whatever you have. Um, we have an L298N uh, driver driving the NEMA motor, and we have a ULN2003A driver driving the uh, roll motor. And that's these guys here. This is the uh, L298N, uh, and this one is the um, ULN2003A. Uh, and uh, it's not much to it. Um, this particular motor comes with a connector, and it plugs directly into that driver board. So I'll grab another one over here. So you don't have to um, worry about pinning that. All you have to do is come in with another connector here to wire to your um, Adreno. So basically that's what this setup is here. That breadboard in the back, I just used to distribute the grounds and power because uh, I used the LCD in order to calibrate it. And um, and power and ground going to the um, the two stepper motors there. So we just used a breadboard to uh, break that out. And, um, but that's basically it. Um, just mounting the motors. Uh, again, like we mentioned before, you uh, take out the screws and uh, that center piece you can take out, mount in your stepper motor. And uh, like I said, a 3D printer comes in handy for printing various pieces and, and whatnot. Um, like this uh, leg support here for the other motor. Um, so we did that. I think as I mentioned before, I uh, got the Dremel tool and um, just routed out some clearance so that we can slide the cover back on. This motor sits a little bit high. Um, so what I'll probably do is uh, take this leg off and this motor off, slide the cover on, and then remount the motors. Um, so I already got the sim up and running and the COM port is already open. So I'm gonna just turn up the volume here. 
and uh, we'll go ahead and give her some throttle. And this time I relocated the stick so it's easier to get to. Still Oop. trying to steer <laughs> with these pedals here. Hopefully we can get some speed on the grass. Hit the jettison button. Hopefully that'll lighten the load some. There we go. Ooh. All right. So I'm gonna raise up the gear. It. I know it's down a little bit. Uh, lever, level up here. So we'll roll to the right. And we'll roll to the left. And that's um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to engage the autopilot. Let's see if it. Okay, got too much pitch angle. Well, let's see. Some things I tried to do. You might recognize the grease from the uh, Warthog Stiction. I did it by a second. Warthog I'm using. I bought it used off of eBay and had some grease left over and I put that on the pitch axis to try to quiet that down somewhat. Um, it worked pretty well in that regard. Um, I tried to reduce the friction uh, between the gears so I used some uh, grease on those two gears. Um, let's see what else that I ran into. Uh, I think that was pretty much it. Um, probably next I'll look into uh, driving the uh, motor for the um, on-off flag. This guy here. And wire up the cage. Um, but as far as getting your pitch and roll axis going um, that's pretty much it all you just need is your motor drivers and uh, two stepper motors and um, like I said I mentioned before I got this used off of eBay and uh, and like I say this particular mod maybe take about a half a week um, or maybe a week to do in your spare time and it uh, wasn't, wasn't too bad. And um, I guess that's pretty much it. And uh, just want to uh, demo that. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, good luck with your cockpits.